It's tourmaline, garnets, and books of muscovite here on this episode of Rock County USA. It's off to the northeast on this episode of Rock County USA as we head to the state of Maine. My faithful Rock County partner Chase and I are traveling northward on I-95 to Oxford County, Maine in search of the quarries that are operated by Frank Purim. Our goal today is black tourmaline, perhaps some garnet, feldspar, and other minerals of the pigmentites of this famous mineralogical region. So on this episode of Rock County USA, it's the minerals of Maine. Stay tuned for more. All right, we're starting to get closer now. We've just passed through the little town of Norway, Maine, and we've turned off of 118 onto Greenwood Road, and we're gonna go a little over five miles, and then we're going to turn onto Richardson Hollow Road, and then we will be very, very close to the mine. So, uh, weather is looking kind of iffy. We've got about a 50-50 chance of thunderstorms, temperatures in the low 80s, but uh, uh, we're just gonna think that the rain today might, if it comes, will cool us down perhaps on a hot day of prospecting. So we'll see you hopefully on the way walking to the mine. Locating the quarries is fairly easy. Simply go about 5.2 miles north on Greenwood Road from 118. Make a right onto Richardson Hollow Road and go just over 500 feet and there'll be a small parking area on the right just before the lane. Walk down the lane about 900 feet and you will see the two quarries, one on either side of the road, but they've almost become joined like one massive quarry. Well, we are on the lane to the quarries. You can see my faithful sidekick Chase there behind me. And you'll know you're on the right path down to the quarries when you see lots and lots of muscovite mica, sheets of thin, almost perfectly clear uh, muscovite or mica right here on the trail. It just looks like diamonds glittering in the sun as you head down to the quarries. So uh, already things are looking good. The sun is out. The weather looks like it's gonna hold for us today. Let's see what we can find down in the quarries. We're not even to the mines yet. We're just on the trail to the mines and already we are seeing lots of evidence of the pegmatite. This nice uh, chunk with beautiful veins of quartz. We've got some nice muscovite going through that. Uh, looks like this could be some black tourmaline in the rock. Not 100% sure. I believe that that's what that is. Even over here as well. So the pegmatites have already begun and we haven't even got down to the mine yet. Well, here we are at the land between the two mines, literally the trail right between what I'm gonna call the W and the T mine because I cannot pronounce these impossible names. But notice, look at these books of mica that are just laying on the ground. They look like, they look like golden plastic just everywhere. Look how thick that book is. Just, just thousands of these laying on the ground right here at the mine. So easy pickings, haven't even had to break a rock yet. All right, here's a nice boulder that is completely covered in black tourmaline as well as books of muscovite just right here between the two mines on the main trail headed down. Well, stopping to take just a little bit of a breather. Even though it's only in the mid 80s, the humidity feels like it's at 100%. There is a threat of bad weather coming, which we are looking forward to. Uh, and every time a cloud goes between us and the sun, it is much appreciated and we are very thankful for that. 
So incredible amounts of muscovite or mica, uh, as big as uh, five, six inches across these books. Also massive amounts of tourmaline, uh, black, very, very rich black, mixed in with other minerals in this pegmatite. And uh, if we still have enough energy, we may try to hike it on up to the Harvard, which we've heard really good things about. So we're gonna sit here, sweat, enjoy the breeze, and maybe wait for a big cloud to come over.